got the goods. Beechworth <laughs> Bakery is the best. Can't even tell you guys how many times we've been to this bakery in 48 hours. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. Yeah. Best pies. Yeah. Best beasting. If we haven't been to the bakery, we've been to the brewery. If we're not at the brewery, we're at the bakery. Yeah, pretty much. That's what the last 48 hours have been. Yeah. We got coffee. Um, we got I got a sausage roll, Aaron got a pie. And we Cheese and a, bacon. Yeah, and we also got a beasting. They do the best beasting yeah. here. Oh my gosh. They're proper beasting cakes. So yeah. So good. Yeah, so we've had three in 48 hours. <laughs> no. Don't tell them that. <laughs> cut, cut that out. <laughs> and uh, they're worth it. Yeah, we're going to miss this place, I think. Yeah, we'll yeah. be back for we'll sure. Back. Where are we going today? Chumit. Chumit. Yeah. Alright, let's hit the road, Jack. Let's go. All right, we're in the state park, got to our turn off, and I'll show you what it says. Danger, falling trees and limbs, closed forest, authorized vehicles and personnel only. But it does say you can access it through yellow fin trail or something. So Sophie's just on the maps now, trying to work out where that is. So we can try and get to a campsite in here tonight. Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really want to know Searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down So, little update I'm in the driver's seat Aaron has got the drone out He's droning Trying to get it down from the sky And we were trying to get into The campgrounds um, In the Bago maybe state forest and turns out the entry is closed um, as Aaron just told you guys um, we were trying to get around by yellow yellow in road um, which apparently you can get through that way however the dam is still closed as well so that was another thing we wanted to see but that's closed we've seen about three or four 1080 bait signs as well so we're a bit like on edge um, we didn't think that they did baiting in the state forest but obviously they do so we're a bit out of touch obviously when it comes to knowing about that we do have her head net that we showed you guys um, but she won't just sit at camp wearing it she'll walk around being busy wearing it but she won't just sit there wearing it I can just tell you now she'll rip it off so yeah We've decided to boycott the state forest. Um, we've been in here for about 40 minutes just cruising around. It's really nice. Like there's a lot of um, logging happening at the moment you can see. And um, the trees that have grown back that are so green look so pretty. But yeah, just at the moment, we're too on edge to be in a tent in the forest with the baits and not even let alone not being able to get into there via the roads that we were planning on going down. Um, so we, yeah, we gave it a red hog crack. Um, but yeah, again, not getting in there this time around. On wiki camps, a lot of people haven't been able to get in there either, even via the Yellow Wind Road. So 
it turns out that yeah a lot of people are boycotting the forest and and just heading out to there's a camp up the road Jones Bridge um, but that one doesn't allow tents <laughs> so we've actually picked a hip camp um, I'll get Aaron to show you it when we get back when he gets back in the car but we've picked this hip camp it's about 40 minutes like past Tumut so it's like from here we're at Batlow just past Tumut um, so we're going to go there for tonight it is on Tumut River it looks stunning it is $40 a night um, which is kind of the average of what we've been paying around um, like towns around $40 uh, especially when there's a good little lookout or something like a creek so yeah looking forward to that now feeling good to get out of the state forest because we were kind of saying to each other oh do we risk it do we just put her head net on do we just watch her really close but then we're like nah it's not worth it if she ate a bait we would be we would die like <laughs> we can't even imagine um so yeah excited to be boycotting the forest and before you guys comment below we do know that baits are everywhere um, they don't have to be signposted but generally when they are signposted it means that they're currently baiting in the area or have recently baited in the area we know that birds can drop them anywhere we are fully understanding of that it's just that yeah at the moment seeing so many signs and it just puts you a bit on edge just telling them about the baits and and that we've boycotted the state forest <laughs> yeah literally <laughs> yep yeah we, and we know that they're everywhere but yeah, it's not worth the risk mm. like you think state forest or oh, yeah there shouldn't be baits but we must be out of touch i said must be yeah mm. so we did, i just said if we lost her we would die oh 100 mm. yeah. yeah so it's not, worth, not it. worth it especially right at the end of the holiday you don't want to yeah. be dealing with that anxiety you want to just kind of relax back into the normal life <laughs> yeah so we thought just let's go to a hip camp so found and be mm. safe I said you would show them it when you came back. What? The hip camp we booked. Called Bawiji RV sites. If you can see. But yeah, it's on yeah. the Tumut River. It looks really good. We'll show yeah, you when we get awesome. there. Yeah. Yellow win access road. What does that say? Road closed. And a big gate. So you can get through there apparently. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> I don't think so. So, luckily we chose the hip camp. Oh my gosh, so we can't even get there even if we wanted to. No, no, no entry. They've closed the whole... It'd be nice if they put state forests closed, mm. like, at the entry. I feel like this always happens to us. We've there been to a lot... Yeah. She's driving, so he's I'm passenger. Yeah, he's on. yeah, for my dear life, my gosh. <laughs> Yeah, so we've been to a lot of state forests in our travels and a lot of them are always shut. I don't know bloody why. <laughs> They're always closed, so I don't know if it's just our luck and if it's a sign that, yeah, get out of there, it's garbage anyway. So <laughs> that's what I'm gonna go with. It mustn't be a good state forest here, so let's go somewhere else and have a good night. If I make it. Have a fun in your bed. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Here tonight at Tumut, we've got the tent, the, the river, we've got Aaron. <laughs> so we're here tonight um, and it is, I think it was 39.50 a night for unpowered, no water, no amenities. Um, no they, water? There's <laughs> heaps of water right there. No potable water. <laughs> they do have a long drop if you're interested, but it's been away with toilet paper. Um, besides that, there's nothing else here, just a beautiful river to swim in. We've had a dip. It is probably about 10 degrees, so it's really nice and fresh, especially because it's about 37 today. So really, really nice and refreshing. And yeah, it's really, really nice here. I don't know how many times I've said that. About 10. So it's really nice. 
Anyways, we're here tonight and then tomorrow we're going to... Gonna go out, maybe? What? Oh. Are we? No, I don't know. <laughs> Meant to be going to Wee Jasper tomorrow. Oh yeah, Wee Jasper, that's the one. Yeah. See what happens. It's very, very warm today. Um, Ginger is feeling it. Aren't you, girl? You feeling it? You feeling the heat? Yes. You feeling it? It's very hot, everybody. I went in the river for a swim. The humans pushed me in. Yeah, how good is this? Our own entrance into the river. So the water's flowing really fast, so we're not going in too deep. Just so we can stand enough and sit down and relax. Nice, meant to be plenty of fish in here, but we'll see if I go for a fish or not. I reckon the current's too strong, but anyway. See how we go. He reckons the current's too strong. Not his bad fishing skills. Definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going for a dip, have a drink, and yeah, chill out for the afternoon. Not sure what we're going to film, but this will be us and has been us for the next few and past few hours. Up here. We are packing up this morning and heading off. Um, thinking about exploring, there's like a Tumut uh, wetlands walk. Thinking about that, but it is already warming up because we've taken too long to pack up. Yeah, it was so nice here. Coffee on the river and breakfast on the river, and just really took it in slow. Um, but now I think it was almost 30 already, and it's getting up to almost 40. So yeah, we'll get there. We'll have a look. We'll see. Um, we also were thinking about a day trip to Adelong. Um, that's where like gold mining and stuff. There's like a walk around there as well. And there's Adelong Falls. So thinking about that, see where the day takes us. Um, booked in tonight at Wee Jasper, which should be good. It is, I um, can't remember the name of it. Do you remember the name of it? Well, we'll tell you when we get there. And then, yeah, just taking it in this morning and Ginger is, Ginger's loving it here because she can be off lead and really enjoy herself. Now there are other dogs here but at the moment there aren't. Like there's dogs that live here and they're up at the house so we've got it off lead now but when there's other dogs who put her on the lead. I got the price wrong so it was $28 for a tent and $40 for a caravan. Um, I accidentally booked a caravan site without realising so my bad. Wasted $12 but what do you do? These things happen when you're rushing and being last minute spontaneous. Um, so yeah, that happened. And then we seen a red belly black snake as well yesterday. We didn't get any of it on footage because we were just enjoying our day and relaxing and it was so hot. We were in and out of the water all afternoon and just having a few drinks and we had a fire. And yeah, pretty bad vloggers yesterday. All right, we just drove up to the top of Tumut to Rotary Hill Lookout. We've left, left Miss Ginger in the car. Sophie's in there with her with the aircon on because I took my shoe off and touched the tar. And after about three seconds, my foot was burning. We don't want her feet burning, so decided to leave her in the aircon all nice and comfy. And I'll turn you around and show you the lookout. It's not a bad view over Tumut. It's pretty nice looking. Yeah, it's All right, we've just come to the Tumut Old Railway Station. It's pretty cool. 
Oh, fireplace. Yeah, out of that ginger. Yeah. What are you reading? Tumit's foot, foot warmer heating plant. So I think that was this. This metal container was filled with crystalline heated sodium acetate and hematillary seal. Uh, the containers were immersed in boiling water for one and a quarter hours before being placed on the floor of each compartment. Turning the containers transferred the cool liquid into hot crystals. This procedure was a one off chance to provide more heat to, and travelers were known to have debated over the appropriate time to turn the container. There you go. So yeah, everyone to heat carriages in New South Wales, railways introduced hot water foot warmers in 1887. No more cold toes. Not going out along and not doing the walk at Tumut. Aaron, just as he said to you guys, it is too hot. Miss Ginger will burn her little tootsies. Um, and it is only early. Well, I guess it's heading on lunchtime now, but yeah. it's only going to get hotter. Um, so, plan is head to camp. We've booked Wee Jasper. I don't know if Aaron's already told you. I haven't, no. Yep, so booked Wee Jasper. Heading there now. And yeah. Yep, should be a good day. Yep. Let's hit the road. We're not having much luck. It's happened again. Ah, we haven't been... We have been driving for about an hour. Yeah. Through the forest <laughs> to come to this sign. Um, it says detour ahead, but there's no detour signs. Where to go? Where's the detour? Mm, no idea. No idea. Um, so yeah, not having much luck on this trip of his, but I'm um, just trying to get to wee Jasper. So I'm not I'm not sure why everything's so difficult for us, but hey, we're alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. All right. All right. Let's try we'll and figure this out. Work it out. I can keep going that way and just see. All right. I've downloaded offline maps on my phone. Um, but it's saying to go this but way. But it is still saying to go that way, so hopefully it reboots. Yeah, hopefully. See what happens. we made it finally made it to camp after that bit of an adventure with all the road closures in mm. the state park again honestly I think maps took us the wrong way <laughs> I think there would have been an easier way into this yeah. what's the camp called um, Mickalong Creek Reserve there you go Mickalong Creek Reserve so yeah I reckon there would have been an easier way because everyone's coming from that way 
<laughs> where we came from that way. So, yeah, anyway, doesn't matter. Doesn't We're matter here. Doesn't matter, we made it. It's bloody beautiful here. Mm, it was mm. worth the detour. Yeah, 100%. Definitely come back here. Yeah. I'll be putting it on your list. Mm, or don't, so we can yeah, come don't, here without yeah. anyone around. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Ginger loves it. The creek is literally right in front of us there. Which we'll show you. We will sec. show you, of course. When we rocked up, we walked down to the water and Sophie spotted a fish about that mm, big. Looked yeah. massive. You know those Gerber with the big lips? Yeah, Groper. Groper. Yeah, it wasn't that. No. Well, no. But it looked like that with the big <laughs> lips. Well, I was reading the sign out the front and it said they had three types of trout and they also had an Atlantic salmon. And mm. I reckon it could have been an Atlantic salmon. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. It either. had the big yeah. lips. Yeah. yeah, it did. So, uh, anyway, I anyway. don't know what it was. Yeah. Still in there. I haven't chucked a line in and honestly, I probably won't. <laughs> it's too much effort. <laughs> too much effort when you're not <laughs> going to catch anything. Yeah, exactly right. I'm not going to catch anything. I don't have um. bait, just lures and it's really shallow. So... Mm. If I had a fly rod or something, I probably would, but anyway. Yeah, apparently fly fishing is very popular here. Yeah, it is, because mm. all trout and all that, you use flies. Mm. Fun facts. Yeah. <laughs> Bit tricky to use, though. Anyway. Anyway. You guys don't really care about no. that, I don't reckon. <laughs> Sophie doesn't. <laughs> no. Well, we have been having some car issues as well, which oh, we will yeah. <laughs> talk about in another video another time. I cannot be bothered. I'm too happy nah. to br bring it yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't matter. Yeah. So we will talk to you guys about that another time, so you'll see that in the coming weeks episode. Yeah, and if we forget, just remind us. Yeah. <laughs> um, we have been in and out of the water this afternoon. It has been so nice. Um, yeah, this area oh, definitely is, yeah. It's one that we have to come back to with the van yep. when we do get it. Um, and a fly fishing rod. And a fly fishing rod. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, gosh. nah, it's beautiful here. Yeah. We love this style of camps, mm. right on the fresh creek or river. Mm -hmm. Nice grassy open areas. And not too many people around. Yeah, definitely. There are amenities here. There's hot water, showers and toilets. Yep. That is it though. No bins, no anything else. Um, there just... is a drop to a uh, dump point too. Oh, a dump point as yeah. well. Um, so there you go. There's all that. It's of areas to camp. Um, there's no fires allowed at the moment. It says yeah. on the big sign out the front. It's dependent on the day, I think. I think so. Yeah, mm. weather and dogs must be on leads at all times forgot to mention as well this is a caravan park yeah <laughs> caravan how much? park <laughs> yeah, yeah how much is it 18 dollars per person per night hmm. and that's unpowered of course yeah. um there is no powered option on uh, in any of the parks well, in this one i don't know okay. about the others yeah. um they the reflections holiday parks they own four i think it is like along one stretch of road not to mention we're actually in we jasper we jasper yeah i don't think we said that no that's um, probably a good start that's a good start <laughs> <laughs> bloody rookies yeah um so yeah we jasper they own the four along the stretch yeah i can't remember the name of them all but the main one is billy grace um uh, yep. This one, obviously, Mickalong Creek. Along. The main one is Billy Grace. That's where the like kiosk and the main office and everything is. Yeah. If you do want to pull in and actually pay with cash or anything like that. Yeah. Otherwise, you just book online. Um, you can look at all the options that they own along the stretch. Mm. Put your dates in. You book it online. You pay by card, and it's done. Yeah, you rock up. Mm. They get your rego, so they will drive past. The guy came in before yeah. checking, so. Yeah. Yeah, make sure you do the right thing. I dare say people wouldn't. Yeah. Yeah, so make sure you're not those people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anyways, we'll show you the camp. So we have the awning out, the tent getting a bit of shade. Nothing else has changed on this side. Got the LSP solar panel out. Loving that. Got our rubbish bin. Dunny underneath there. Tent. Our table, we've got the Duna out at the moment. Airing. Our chairs. And there's the creek. Just there. So yeah, this place is really, really nice. Just like the last one was really, really nice. How many times can I say really, really nice in an episode? 
Just make it that a drinking game, Aaron. And there's an apple tree there. So if you come at the right time of year, which is probably around now, but mm. maybe a bit late, you'd have fresh apples. So How good. Yeah, really nice spot. And yeah, we're just mm. going to relax this afternoon, yeah. run up for a shower shortly. And cook, some dinner. cook some dinner. What's for dinner? Don't know yet. Ran out of gas. Yeah, no <laughs> gas for the Barbie, but lucky we've got the induction cooker, so yeah, should be good. On another note, how good are induction cookers? Oh, far out. Best buy ever. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think it would be any good. But... Yeah, because the ones in the house are garbage. Yeah. <laughs> really. <laughs> I literally but... burnt the bottom of a pot the other day because it got so hot so quick. Yeah, first so... time using it. Yeah. Mm. But Anyways, brilliant. off topic, but just thought I would share that in case yeah. you were on the fence about induction cookers. Now, And also, quick note different subject but the canopy the road in here is so bloody dusty mm. the canopy has no dust the trundle drawer has a little bit of dust yeah, not much bit. but the outside of the trundle drawer <laughs> was out. covered of dust we just wiped it off and opened it up and it was pretty darn good so yeah so far so good yeah i'm pretty happy yeah 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 loving it so far mm. prisoner of war campsite um, during World War II. Um, there is a lot of ruins still around but not much left standing so it's pretty interesting that we're able to still check these out and read up on them. guys we are at our camp now we are about to head off we didn't film while we were here for the one night uh, we just enjoyed it it's bloody beautiful here right behind me is the Wingala Dam it's a reflections holiday park I'm pretty sure I'll show you our setup just before we head off that's a dam right there how nice is it That's the rig all packed up, ready to go. We're heading home today. Take you down to the water. Our own little beach section here, which is beautiful. We were swimming in it pretty much all afternoon yesterday. It was beautiful. So 
oh, I better show you guys because it was so nice here. Beautiful spot. They're very uneven, but you can deal with it. There's a few even spots. So yeah, that's the end of our trip. So we'll be heading home now, back to Sydney.